Hi there, Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your love monthly forecast reading with me, Chrissy from Instars by Chrissy.com. So, this is all happening for the month of June 2020 for all of you guys that have their Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign in the sign of Taurus. So, um, again, this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for the rest of you guys out there. So, just keep that in mind. So, um, anyway, uh, without, you know, wasting any of your, your time, let's just go down to business to what is really happening for you, what you can expect, and the energies that is surrounding you for the month of June onwards. So, the first card that you have over here is you have the sun as the overall energy and situation of this reading so this is a very happy card and a card of opportunities abundance what brings you joy that kind of energy it is immediately having a crossover with the five of swords and this is telling us that you know Yes, there are things that are happening for you right now that is maybe making you really, really happy. But there are also things that you know you're looking back on. So maybe um, it could be there is a possibility that things that are that you have right now is not enough for you, and maybe you are desiring on looking back on the past maybe you're thinking about someone from the past or maybe you have regrets you know you could have taken taken such action in the past that maybe you have regretted on like you know something very impulsive and you know there are there could be some hesitations of uh of who do you really want to be with what kind of situation that you really want what kind of relationship do you actually really want because again this is a love reading so i always have to 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 put focus on the relationship sector of everyone here so the five of swords has a lot to do with you know um unresolved issues from the past um you know even if you have maybe you have hurt someone or you have been hurt badly by someone maybe even betrayed you're still longing for this person in your life and the foundation of this reading we do have the star card so you know this is sparking in your your feelings you know uh what really inspires you you could be like questioning yourself that at the end of the day i still really really want to be with a certain person in my life you know this is still what i want you know you you might have been adjusting yourself to um a specific situation relationship or a person but at the end of the day it it might seem as if for the month of june you will come to realize that your true self is still going to come out what you truly feel is still going to come into the surface of things so if you're trying to change yourself maybe for another person or maybe you're trying to sorry <laughs> you're trying to adjust um for whatever reason um maybe to to harmonize yourself with a certain person or relationship you will come to realize that your true heart is still going to um to be calling for you for you to act naturally what you really want those kinds of things and take a look here we do have these a uh, queen of pentacles at the past position of the reading it's really telling us that you have been really patient maybe you have been waiting and something about you has been really toned down so maybe you have been adjusting you know this is the the perfect woman card i would say the perfect girlfriend the perfect wife someone that is going to wait for you um and be really down to earth you know they are going to be tending to their home their kids the family they are always you know going to be the person that you know you can always go home with and be comfortable with you know so they they, they are basically doing things that can bring someone comfort and that is a good thing that is a good thing don't get me wrong they are not a doormat but you know they can be perceived as one 
um, depending on how you take a look on things okay maybe you know sometimes when it is a, in a reverse position it is becoming over to the top so um yeah um definitely though this is a card of uh, a strong patience and understanding but if you guys can see we do have a lot of surrounding cards over here we have the death card with the fortune telling card that i'm using and the seven of spades also um in relation to this queen of pentacles so this could be a situation wherein you know maybe you're doing something that you're really not happy about you know it's not really satisfying you there could be disappointment it's like yes you're do what you're doing is probably good you know um maybe for the better of someone else or for the better of a relationship but it does not mean it's making you happy so that is really the issue that we have here maybe you're doing something for the home because the the house is what is representing this situation so the house is talking about either the relationship a foundation of a relationship you know it's the structure of the relationship or your emotional structure in life you know um and you're trying to be more patient you're trying to do everything that you can for a relationship or a situation but it's clearly causing a lot of disturbance in you emotionally like there's a lot of confusion a lot of disappointments piling up and maybe you won't be able to handle that anymore especially if you are dealing with a man who you know their action is not very much what you wanted you know it's like you have your own expectations and the way that they act and do and handle the relationship is not what you are wanting to feel or see maybe because we do have the king of cups at the top of the reading over here and this is always about you know and it has the service card so it could be the actions of this guy maybe they're not taking action at all you know it's like you know you keep expressing yourself you keep you know you, you keep telling the, them or yourself of that this is what i want this is the relationship that i want um maybe you're trying to work things out with them but you know they are not really you know taking any action they are very nice though very sensitive and you do know that you will be safe with them it could also be that this is the kind of man wherein you know there's a lot of emotions at the surface but they're not probably being expressed in the right way they're not being exp expressed um, in a way that can make you feel good overall uh, it could also be you know a man that has a uh, low self-esteem probably that kind of thing it's like you know you just don't know what they're what they're really feeling because they're hiding everything inside of them so it can be you know very frustrating one way or another and we do have the death card over here at the future position of this reading so this could be the time wherein you know you will be a, you will need to face some form of um challenging situation um whether this is going to be turning out for the good or not the death card is always going to be creating transformation in the relationship so you can actually you know try to work the relationship with them and it will cause it will definitely cause a big change in the relationship if that happens this can also be a situation wherein you might just you know ah fuck it give up or you don't want to deal with it anymore maybe you're just gonna follow your heart and you're not going to be so patient anymore maybe you're just going to break down uh, what you wanted to say to this person because you cannot help it anymore so it's not really just about fun and games anymore you are you wanted 
you wanted to be serious now and you wanted some form of result all at the same time so we do have the seven of pentacles over here and the knight of cups and the fortune card um surrounding your energy uh, as well so there's going to be a lot of frustration with, with when it comes to a man and at the same time there's also some form of waiting so there could be certain decisions or actions that you do or might do and there's going to be a lot of waiting that is going to be happening in the process and this is because the other person might be not acting uh there's no impulsive action toward that person or maybe they're just taking their time and not really being forceful in making decisions and for me though sometimes that is a good thing i mean with all of the retrograde planets happening in the skies it's not really very wise to take action in a very aggressive manner because we might just regret things later on all those kinds of things but for you um, this is going to be a situation wherein you are going to realize um, maybe you are going to think that ah oh, this person is not taking action towards me maybe I'm not worth it or uh, you know you could be thinking a lot of things you know and they can be very pessimistic as well but for the for as a whole though um, this is going to create some form of uh, frustrating moments for you to be honest um, and yeah we do have a lot of you know there is really definitely a, a possibility for having weird thoughts in your mind this time especially we have the women here surrounded by the book and the snake card and we do have a few Lenormand cards here where the snake is with the women cards. So women in particular possibly are having, you know, troublesome thoughts in terms of their relationships and causing some form of um, decision making on what they want to do in a certain relationship that they have at this time definitely though communication wise um expect that there is going to be slow movement not much forward scenario not much action not much progression in terms of relationship and even though that maybe you want to progress you want something to happen within the month you might actually see that you know it's not gonna happen in the way that you wanted to we do have a lot of burdening cards over here and communication showing up so it could be that you know something could be overbearing maybe you are the one who might become overbearing to that person or um, the relationship is really just not that smooth remember that this is the time to um, to work things out and to take your time in resolving issues and problems and all of that this is not about um, making a final um, decision about a relationship maybe on July you will find your answer if this is the right decision to make if this is uh, the right path should I let go of this relationship should I continue on but for this month of June this is all about okay this uh, this is about you, you taking action to a certain extent, but do not expect results as soon as possible, you know For me, this is the time for you to be honest To be honest of what you truly feel, express them Even though they are positive or negative, express them to that person And let them take the time to digest things So that, you know, um, things will sink into them, you know You don't have to to lash out and all of that and expect immediate results because from the way that I'm seeing here immediate result is not really something very easy to occur at this time so just let them be just say your piece and let them let them be and you know just I guess wait a bit it's going to be some form of waiting time going to to be transpiring and take this quiet time to really make a decision on what you really want you know um make make a decision on a final one what regardless of what answer they do what answer they take what answer they give you do know that 
the overall outcome is going to be really really beneficial for you and it's going to really set you free and it's going to be making you happy because we do have the magician card as the overall outcome of this reading so so anything that is burdening you you have to say it out right now especially the magician card is a very powerful communication card as well and this is also a way for you to forge your own reality sometimes if you do not speak nothing is really gonna happen so but at the same time forcing yourself to speak and forcing them to take action based on what you say is also a different factor because that is going to uh, manifest in a very negative you version of you of because you're maybe emotionally manipulating someone to act in a certain way because of your own selfish desires so right now you know I, the best advice that I, would, I can give you is to just lay down your cards you know and tell them that this is your needs this is what you want or you know this is actually what you're feeling and i have been really being patient with this and i do hope that you 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 give me an answer on what you really want out of this relationship and then maybe by the end of june or as we go over to july there's going to be a valid answer and situation that can move everything forward that can remove all of the burden that you have in your life this is also because you do have your own uh, past issues going on as well you do have a lot of retrograde things happening in the skies right now so your traumas from the past could come up and can can actually disrupt your relationship at this time and another way this can manifest is that you know maybe you are um single or wanting a relationship and you know something could be transpiring within the month of june that can you know that can transform your life actually something can change for you some form of communication can come for you um maybe from the past possibly because we do have a lot of retrograde so you know i know a lot of people don't like talking about the past and stuff like that but there are just too much retrogrades happening in the skies right now so that is an open possibility for everyone so um yeah some form of good news can actually occur for you that will make you think on what you really want for the future or you know and the best I, and at the end of the day this is more of a question of what is best for you are you going to repeat the same mistakes or are you going to handle this differently so that things can actually work and and have a more progressive state and as you guys can see here we have the sun in the sixth house and in the sign of libra libra is all about relationships balance you know the give and take of a relationship especially if you are in a relationship wherein there is no give and take and you're all about giving and they're all about taking then that could be an issue that you know you guys might need to address and fix and the sixth house is you know there could be enmity going on in the relationship so there could be arguments or lack of thereof or you know a really progressive um troublesome situation that you guys might need to work on so that is really in focus even at this reading sixth house is also the house of the excess so past people can actually come to the surface and whether you allow them back in your life or not is going to be your own decision to make just know that you know you cannot repeat the same mistakes or else it's going to be a loop and it's not really gonna serve you any well at the end of the day so um yeah this is my reading for you guys taurus out there i hope that this reading will give you insight and clarity into your own situation again if you like a more personal reading with me and a personal you know closer look into your own personal situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye